San Diego Comic Con day two recap. And man, we got some sweet stuff to show you. San Diego Comic Con day two recap here with Geek Variant. So, we're going to talk about some of the things that we saw today and all the stuff that is kind of getting lined up for you know the rest of the year as well as probably a year or two you know in the process so we got stuff you know it's releasing this year we got stuff that's going 2023 2024 like we're 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 on it right now and today has got me excited so let's get into it and we'll get with the base stuff so again make sure that you go ahead and smash that subscribe button we're gonna need you to you know lock in all the stuff because we're about to show you some really sweet stuff and i talk about really sweet stuff i'm talking about Lord of the Rings introduces Taste of Mordor ice cream. I am so excited to get Brent to eat this. Without a doubt in my mind. He is a Lord of the Rings fan. I'm just kind of here. He needs to try this. And I want him, I want him to <laughs> tell me what's going on with this. Now, this is by Salt and Straw. Salt and Straw has done a lot of... Uh, cool ice cream flavors uh they've done a lot of fan ice cream flavors uh as well like fans made up some stuff and they've added it to their collection for like a limited time so i think it's really good this is actually one of the ice creams that Dwayne the rock johnson uh en endorses because he's got his own like holiday flavor pack i think that comes out every year man what doesn't he what is i mean he he's, he's, he's making some money with and, and speaking of Dwayne johnson we should see some from him tomorrow uh for sure black adam uh, you know dc's gonna have that that panel freaking going so, but this is what we're really, you know, getting into. This is Lord of the Rings, Rings of Power. This starts September 2nd, and we got, uh, finally got the, the full trailer that we're able to see. Everybody is hyped over, you know, this Sauron. Guy, and this this. Guy. Uh, Again, I, I don't know exactly what's going on. Is this like his rise to power? Is this like him getting into it? Like this is well before Lord of the Rings. This is well before The Hobbit. It's about Sauron. It's about the elves in the beginning. It's about the creation of Balrogs. I'm in it. I'll have a separate video in this because I'm too hyped for it. So we need to keep the panel rolling before I get right, So, yeah. Started. So we're definitely going to get it's into good. this one. Galactus. Again, Hasbro has been on it with a lot of their figures and stuff that they've been launching. Like, this has been, you know, an absolute dream for any collector out there for comic-con like again going here and being able to get a hold of these exclusives is absolutely fantastic and they just keep dropping you know more and more uh, amazing stuff and some of these i'm looking at like yo i definitely want to get my hands on but i'm nowhere near comic-con at this point so i'll get it whenever i can get my hands on it so fantastic Jalen, check those out you can go to hasbro pulse and check out there uh all their exclusives and stuff and if you're a hasbro pulse member then of course you get early access to some of these things so that works for them gargoyles my child remember this back. image from your childhood then you'll be happy to know that gargoyles is getting a renewed life they are bringing it back uh, i'm not sure in what the full capacity is stuff. i believe it's going to be a series but one full they, season is promised that's, one full season so right we get to see the gargoyles back in action this is one of my favorite shows growing up uh brooklyn was one of my favorites uh absolutely fantastic this is an OG right. no, show no. like if you no. mentioned this when we were kids we we're instantly friends it was yeah, just yeah. one of those shows this was definitely one that was you know a, a fun one early so, morning yeah. cartoon heaven baby yeah definitely happy to have this one back now you remember this image that you know about Avatar and you know what Avatar is about. Like, we loved Avatar The Last Airbender, but we found out that the movie that was supposedly thought to be about Kyoshi is now going to be about Aang. All the Aang games. is the primary yeah. guy. They are going to be the primary, you know, protagonist throughout the series, and we're going to see them in a more grown-up light, and I think this is going to be really fun. They've got more control over the powers they already had, were pretty good but now they're coming with the full force and we should really have some fun with this so i'm excited to see this we also have the live action coming up with netflix so again you know i'm, I'm a little funky about live action i hope for the best with live action but you know we see how that turned out last time so we're going to see 
this in this animated form and this will save me you know if the you know the netflix version does not add up to to be what it needs to be so it keeps asking for live action anime stop it (laughs) stop it all right john wick again john wick 4 was announced the trailer was uh put out so we're definitely going to see more of Keanu Reeves. Uh, he has already made several mentions that he will continue to make John Wick movies as long as people want to see them. And honestly, I'm one of the people who just wants to see them. I enjoy the John Wick movies for what they are. I enjoy them just for gratuitous violence and action and just having a good time. And Keanu Reeves plays freaking the character very well. Because Keanu Reeves is the character. He is the character. He is the character. He is. Bizarre. He is one character in every film he's ever been in, and he is. I look, except for I what it's like, but Bill care. and Ted. Yeah, Bill and Ted. Might be I one. don't care. He is awesome, and I will run with it. So, John Wick Four will be coming to theater soon. So you definitely, you know, check that out. Ah, <sighs> this one here was kind of interesting. This is the dumbest thing I've seen. <laughs> I just said it just on air. I was saying on air because of what it involved. So, this is a set of Infinity Stones that was created, uh, you know, in conjunction with Marvel and East Continental Gems to create these stones. And these are like they have a ridiculous value. I don't even know the full value. Twenty five million. Unless these stones give me the actual powers listed in the comics, this is so. Stupid is about as stupid as me pointing in the wrong direction again. 25 million. So the space stone is a sapphire that's over 30 carats. The reality stone is an oval shaped natural ruby that's over 15 okay carats. This. The you power stone is this. an amethyst that's 35 carats. The soul to sign stone off on this, is man. a spesterite that's exceeding 35 carats. The mind stone is a uh, yellow cut diamond close to 35 carats and then the time stone Who funded this? is a 23 carat emerald i got questions <laughs> so yeah like this why aren't thing, you subscribed <laughs> this thing should literally be like if they don't put like if they don't make a, a gold gauntlet to put this in and just put this on display somewhere it like, like a gauntlet worth like a hundred bill jesus Yo, put this on display somewhere and have it freaking where it's like a, a piece of art that goes freaking, you know, from, you know, museum to museum or something like that. Yo, because I get there will be someone trying to, you know, do a heist on this thing and, and take all them gems so they have all the Fendi stones. Maybe they're just going to like low key film that and just like see what happens. Low key uh, no. season two confirmed. <laughs> <laughs> right, so, yeah, they were doing their, their thing on this one. Speaking of Marvel. Moon Girl and the Devil Dinosaur is coming to Disney Channel. So this one is going to be really great for you. Young for kids. kids stuff. Moon Girl is one of the smartest people in the Marvel Universe. And the fact that she has her, you know, her uh, dinosaur there with her is really going to set the stage for her to really have fun and just really be a fun series. So definitely going to be interested in watching this with my daughter uh, and really getting into it with her. She enjoyed Miss Marvel. So I didn't know Tony got to be another live action you know, yeah. adaptation devil dinosaur yeah you know it is what it is but you know it's fantastic <laughs> speaking of uh, dinosaur it's funny they uh i think uh they just released some costumes uh, for spider rex and dinosaurus and stuff so a lot of people have been running around i think it's like a hundred dollars a piece to get these inflatable the inflatable t-rex costumes they have a spider-man version and a venom version so i think that's really cool um so yeah, you that you give me a devil dinosaur version and allow me to cosplay with my daughter as Moon Girl and stuff like that, then I think we're on to something. So yeah. this is what crazy. if what if season two was confirmed? What if season two is really supposed to pick up on what was what was left over and what was going on with everything in season one? Again, if you haven't seen season one, please go check it out. It is very, very good. And they really set the stage for anything and everything that they want to do. Like this is the animated, you know, experience of the MCU and it's going to allow them to do a lot more. Cause when you, when you're not bound by the confines of live action, 
and you're actually you know which those confines are opening up more and more as we go like my buddy you know you know chris terry i tell you he's all about freaking all these you know cinematic adventures so with animation you got a little bit more leeway as to what you can do right now and they can really like kind of set the bar high for any type of encounter in synopsis season one had multiverse of madness light just check it out it's good stuff yeah we're ready for season two so ready for that i am groot for my birthday i am Groot. this is coming out freaking on august 10th and they do have a trailer up um He's gonna be running around and getting into his shenanigans. So, and he's made so much you know, money doing nothing with this character. Groot is just a, a cute little money maker. It is what it is. Like he's gonna do. I actually seen somebody the other day. I was walking through the mall, so like that, and somebody had a stuffed Groot like on their shoulder. That is fantastic. I just, hey, that, Groot, I would instantly be like, "Look, we're friends. I don't, I don't care what anyone says." Groot, Groot is there to stay. So. No. Spider-Man freshman year. Dare Spider. Spider-Man Spider freshman year has been, you know, definitely confirmed. I believe it's already been confirmed for a season two ahead of its season one release. Apparently, that's how good the reception is on freshman year. And there's a lot of little hidden well, gems. Probably got to go all the way through senior year. Yeah, I mean, probably. So, so we're gonna we see a lot of different things. So here's you know some of the first looks, some of the images and stuff of Spider-Man. In you know the freshman year, we've seen you know different things. So it looks like you got some you Doctor know Strange. Doctor Strange like that. Like some of the runaways like there's there's a lot of stuff that's going on here that's really going to set the stage for you know his entire saga going through from freshman to senior year and really getting to grow up and see him become the full fledged Spider Man. So. Uh, I do uh, find out that I believe Tom Holland is not voicing this Spider Man, so this will be voiced by another actor. I'm not sure who yet. I'd laugh if it's Garfield, but yeah, because here's who it is. But we did find out that Daredevil is making an appearance here in this show, and Daredevil will apparently be voiced by Charlie Cox. So Daredevil is continuing to make his rounds throughout the universes of Marvel, and he is not, you know done he's definitely going to be here we've already seen him in netflix we've seen him come up you know into the new spider-man movies and now he's in the animated genre so like this is fantastic for him to still be around and be useful and prevalent because you think about it we have all these heroes going through new york Tangent. Gotta, Next. Gotta <laughs> so you know check out some of the villains and everything else going forward that so, is a good rogues gallery it's a good start yeah, so i like it we're definitely gonna have fun with it Marvel zombies picking up where what if left off episode just so, right. you know. so this is going to be really good you're supposed to see a lot of a lot of the characters that we've already seen going forward uh you take a look at this and you see that we've got Kate Bishop you got Yelena you've got freaking Jimmy Woo up in there and he's doing his card tricks that he learned from Ant-Man part of the so, Wu-Tang Clan like this this is this is awesome uh so we're definitely going to see you know you got the you know Red Guardian. So you're definitely going to have some fun here with this. We're going to see they're going to be fighting off zombies. I believe Zombie Scarlet Witch is still one of the forefronts of what's going on. So they got to figure out how to deal with this and, you know, all the stuff they're going to encounter. So it's going to be really fun. This one here is the one that a lot of people are hyped for. Like this is the one because this is this is this is one of the definitions. Like when I think about my childhood, there are four shows that come to mind. And this is definitely one of them. All right. Like it the, made our list of the best animated comic book shows. Period. Period. The Gargoyles, Ninja Turtles, Batman the Animated Series, and X Men. Like these were all 2023, baby. That's you know, all we know about it thus far. It's great. You know, so uh everything that Marvel did during the animated saga, including Spider Man anime series, like all this stuff was really good back then. So they've got a uh a lot of things to live up to and this is first look at some of the characters going and you see mr sinister emma frost and stuff there i said like cable bishop nightcrawler like they're, they're definitely setting the stage to to really have some some fun with this uh i love the animation i say it looks good uh from these pictures so they're really keeping to the classic and making sure that they respect you know what it they is homage, properly you know 
So definitely happy about it. And again, Magneto looking like a boss, ready to just kind of get into it. So He's been in the gym. Yeah. So we're definitely gonna, you know, be happy to see, you know, those things coming forward. So from there, so that's it. So last thing I'd love to give a shout out to Alan Grant. He recently passed away. This is one of the prolific writers for you know the Batman series, and you know, uh a lot of these characters and stuff that have gone through with these different variations and transitions throughout the comics and stuff have several several different writers, and Alan Grant was one of you know the greats that definitely wrote batman so anybody who definitely wrote on comic book series and stuff and they passed away during this time we definitely want to give a shout out to their family wish them all the best and just you know hopefully um that that big comic book in the sky what can i say so that is the recap of san diego comic-con day two we have a couple more little highlights but they're not worth the screen cover uh william shatner at a cast of He-Man season three. There's no Joker at Gotham Knights. They've confirmed that. There's no Batman, no Joker, not there. And LeBron and Rick Sanchez have been added into DC's multi-versus, which had already had Shaggy, Arya from Game of Thrones, uh, obviously the Looney Tunes, so on and so forth. They got a lot of big players in that game. You think yep. we'll, they'll catch us playing that game? Yeah, I don't know. I'm like, I'm just gonna be sticking to like my Gotham subscribe. Knights. You'll find out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm definitely gonna love the Gotham Knights. Uh, they just just released uh, so Dragon Ball uh, uh, superhero tickets are on sale. They also just released a new Dragon Ball game, Dragon Ball Breakers. So you can definitely go check that out with the trailer. Apparently, it's about the civilian side of things. Uh, what what they're doing on the civilian side. So. Constantly we'll, moving. We'll see how that turns out. It looks like he was running around as Boma and, and Oolong and a couple other characters. So just put Yamcha um, in there. Yeah. <laughs> you don't want to die in the opening freaking credits. Like, <laughs> like, why would you do that? Who dies but, first, Yamcha or a stormtrooper? <laughs> anyway, but that's all we got for this one. We appreciate you checking it out, and we will see you guys in the next one. Tony, hope to see you in the next episode.